Are you ready? Is it going? No. <laughs> um, you'll need an array of nonfiction books. When you read, you need to know about a lot of subjects, and nonfiction books are how you learn about them. Now, we know that nonfiction books are books that are about, that have true facts in them. Um, and they are about real things, real people, and real places. Sometimes they have photographs so we can see what the book is about or um, so we can see what something looks like. Like maybe a book about trees, they would have photographs of trees. Other times, a nonfiction book may have sketches or illustrations that look a lot like a story. Q is for duck is one of those nonfiction books. See, as you can see in the pictures, are like their, their pictures are drawn by an artist. This is what looks like a storybook that we've been, like a storybook we would read. Uh, the information in this book is true. So it is a non-fiction book. But the illustrations are a lot like a storybook or a fiction book. As we read, Q is for duck. Um, listen to the pattern and think about what you know. So, Q is for duck. A is for zoo. Why? Because animals live in the zoo. So let's go back to the first page. Think about this pattern. It says A is for zoo. Now we know a lot about a zoo, so we may know why A is for zoo. So we use our, the picture and our, our, what we already have in our brain, and we figured out or we read that A is for animals which live in the zoo. So let's see if we can get B. Let's see what B says. B is for dog. Why? Does anyone know why B might be for dog? Because they bark. Well, let's find out. Because a dog barks. Hey. <coughs> I'm going to keep reading a few pages, and then maybe let's see if you can think in your head, not out loud, but in your head, if you know the answers. C is for hen. Why? Because a hen clucks. D is for mole. Why? Because a mole digs. E is for whale. Why? Does anyone know why E might be for whale? Because it, a whale is enormous, yeah. which means very big. F is for bird. Why? This one may be a little tricky because of the picture. But what do we know about birds? They fly. They fly, right. Does anyone know what this bird is? Oh, I know, I know. It's a flamingo. <laughs> right. So we may think that F is for bird because of a flamingo, but it's actually because a bird flies. Yay. Is that how a bird flies? No. No, it's a silly book. Um, <laughs> yes. G is for horse. Why? Because a horse gallops. F is H. F. H is for owl. I can't read apparently. <laughs> H is for owl. Why? Because an owl hoots. I is for mosquito. Why? Because a mosquito because <coughs> a mosquito bites itch. J is for kangaroo. Why? Because a kangaroo jumps. K is for mule. Why? Because a mule kicks. L is for frog. Why? Because a frog leaps. M is for cow. Why? I thought we all know this. Moo! Right. <laughs> because a cow moves. N is for cat. Why? Because a cat naps. O is for pig. Why? Because a pig oinks. P is for chick. Why? Does anyone know why? No. <laughs> because a chick peeps. 
Because they don't, they're, they're too little. Their voice is too high, so they have to pee, 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 instead of pee, 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 cluck, 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 like a chicken. Q is for duck. Why? Now, I know you've all been thinking about this one for a long time because that's the title of our book. So, does anyone know why Q is for duck? Because they quack. Let's find out. Because a duck quacks. R is for lion. Why? Because a lion roars. S is for camel. Why? Because a camel spits. Ooh, that's a nasty habit. We should not do that. T is for elephant. Why? Because an elephant trumpets. U is for prairie dogs. Why? Oh, yeah. Because prairie dogs live underground. V is for chameleon. Why? Because a chameleon seems to vanish. Mm -hmm. W is for snake. Why? Because a snake wiggles. X is for dinosaur. Why? This one's kind of tricky. Because dinosaurs are extinct. Y is for coyote. Why? Because a coyote... Yep, howls. <laughs> what? In this book, they yowl. They yowl. <laughs> uh, Z is for animals. Why? Why do you think Z is for animals? Because of the zoo. Because animals live in the zoo. So now we finished our story. And you understand the pattern of the book, I want you to turn to your thinking partner and think of a page you might be able to put in the book. For example, I might say, let's see here. Um, P is for pig. Why? Because a pig, P is for pig. O is for pig because a pig winks. So you, I want you to think of an animal and the sound they make, and then you'd put that letter at the beginning, or, so, or what they are, and then you would make the sentence, just like this. So everybody turn to your thinking partner and think. Okay, they think. They come up with their idea. Um, those are all great, great um, pages to add to this book. So now that we've been learning about nonfiction books, I want you to go back to your table and think about a nonfiction book you have for idea. And you can draw pictures like this that's full of real information, but is, has facts in it. That's not, it's not a story, but it's a fact book. And then you can ask the students, um, what was your favorite part of Q is for a Dog? And did you learn anything new in the book?